Hey guys, so before I start the video, I'd like to point out something really quick. Um, I did get braces like a week ago, and I'm getting used to them still, so if like I don't, if I'm talking weird, that's it. I'm, yeah, it's, I'm still getting used to it, so I'm sorry for that, but I am trying to work through it, so let's see how this turns out. Hey guys, it's Kids Who Hurts 321, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make a DIY all natural pet um, cleaning spray or pet cleaner. And I've made a video like this before, but that was a very long time ago, and honestly, it sucked, and oof, it's kind of very cringy to watch. But yeah, I'm just gonna redo it. <laughs> um, so, first thing you'll need is some distilled white vinegar that in the shot yes it is um, and you can get this at just about any um, grocery store out there it's pretty common you can buy like a one gallon container for like a couple bucks it's not bad not expensive at all and the second thing you will need is water and um, third thing you'll need is a spray bottle here's this little one that I'm gonna show you a trick with in a minute but the main one that I'm using today I'm is this one and yeah so first thing you'll want to do um, the solution that we're going to be making is just half vinegar and half water and you can make it more concentrated or less concentrated based on what you're cleaning if you have a wide amount of space to clean you can have a more diluted solution so you're not wasting a lot of vinegar or if you have some tough stains to get out you can use more vinegar than water it kind of depends on your situation and what exactly you're using this cleaner for. For this one, I'm just going to do basic half and half. So, I'm going to grab a vinegar. I'm going to grab a little flying one really quick. Just going to place it like so and hope it doesn't tip over. And... 14... Alrighty, it's about half, that's more than, oh, yep, that's a lot more than half. Well, good job, Marissa. Alrighty, and then, I'm going to fill it up with water. Almost. Oh, yep, that's too much. I'm on a roll today, guys. Alrighty, and then go ahead and place your lid on and make sure it's nice and tight. I know some water bottles, um, they will kind of leak at the top. It depends on, like, your water bottle. This is just an old one that we've had in our house for years. Um, yeah, so kind of, like, shake it a little bit, make sure it's all mixed together. Now I'd probably shake it whenever you use it just to make sure it's all combined and ready to go. And, yeah, that's the basic, just half and half water and vinegar spray. This can be used for um, hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits, chinchillas, gerbils, uh, what else? Hedgehogs, I don't even know. A lot of animals, a lot of those small animals. Um, completely safe for dogs and cats. Um, if you have a horse, you can use that to clean like your grooming supplies. Um, I would not recommend using this for reptiles or fish. Vinegar is safe for fish, but like not in their tank. Like if it's completely washed out um, before the fish are put in, then vinegar is okay. But reptiles I would steer clear of. I personally don't know much about reptiles, but if that works for reptiles, then that's awesome. Yeah, otherwise this is pretty cheap and easy. It's very safe, all natural, has no toxic chemicals or anything like that, does not give off bad fumes and all that and the weak acids in the vinegar help to kill bacteria and it's a natural deodorizer so it can help like reduce smell if you have like really stinky cage or something I don't know 
It just helps prevent all that smell from building up. It's just like the best. And this has been a pretty common pet cage cleaner among a lot of pet owners, especially small pet owners. Because, you know, you can go to the store and you can buy stuff like this for like your dog or cat or whatever and it's good for them. But this stuff is pretty strong and would not be good for small animals. So you go to the store and you find stuff that's this for small animals and it's super expensive and it just doesn't quite work. But this method that I use is just amazing. So take it from me and just go with this. It works perfectly and it has, I've used this for like forever now, like five years and it hasn't failed me once. So yeah. And now another trick is if you have a really, really tough stain, which I've known animals for many years, I would know. <laughs> They do exist. I would just fill up a tinier spray bottle like this one and put just pure vinegar in it. Let's hope I don't overfill it this time. Oh, oh, oh. Splash them on my hand. Okay, let's say you have a really bad stain on your chloroplast in your guinea pig cage. I don't know, it's coming up with a random example here. Holy crap, that's like clear. You can't even see it, can you? <laughs> um, then you'd have pure vinegar. And I would grab a little bit of baking soda and you'd just sprinkle it right on the stain. Spritz that on it until it starts having a chemical reaction and kind of bubbles up. Let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes and then wipe it clear. Anyway guys, that's my quick little video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you next time. Stay awesome.